and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Grixis midrange. So we've tried this deck like the very uh, first day, I think, of Throne of Eldraine coming out, and it didn't work too well for us, but I've switched up a lot of cards in the deck and I wanted to do it again. So what our deck is about is, is about playing um, aggressive creatures, Knight of the Ebon Legion, Dreadhorde Butcher, and Rotting Regisaur, backed up by the Royal Scions. Because all three of those creatures, the second plus one ability is awesome. You know, giving target creature plus two plus zero, give it first strike and trample. You know, Knight of the Ebon Legion. Um, whenever you, if you spend mana to activate Knight of the Ebon Legion, and it's a it's a four five, well you can make it a six five, death touch first strike trample. That's just completely unblockable. You know, because first strike and death touch, you only have to do one damage, and it's and it's first strike, so you just do one damage to whatever's blocking, and all the rest tramples over. So you're just not blocking that. Dreadhorde Butcher, of course, is, as you know, it's small and uh, it you know usually like trades with like another creature. You know, like it's, it'll trade with like a two, you know, like another like two two creature on the battlefield or something, um, and then it does like two damage to the opponent. Well, if you give it plus two plus zero in first strike, like let's say you play your butcher and you hit him, and now it's a two two, and then you play Royal Scions. Well, now it's a four two with first strike. It's really hard to, to block a, a four power first strike. Uh, creature on turn three so it probably hits the opponent again and now it gets another counter and it just makes it a lot easier to keep getting through and keep getting counters on the dreadhorde butcher and then of course rotting regisaur it's a seven six but now if you make it a nine power trampler that's really hard to chump block and so um yeah i just want to play royal scions with these aggressive creatures here um so that's that's kind of like the the main part of our deck Besides that, we have a lot of good Grixis removal, so we can play a longer game as well. So if we if we don't uh, have like these like an aggressive start with these, we can just kind of play removal, play like thought erasure stuff like that. We can use the first ability of Royal Scions to draw and discard, and you know maybe it's we're like kind of playing a more controlling game, and we don't you know need a Dreadhorde Butcher. You can just discard it kind of thing. Um, so you know we could we kind of have like the the tools to be aggressive or controlling. That's why we're calling it a mid range deck here. Uh, Rankle um, is is just kind of like that kind of card. Like it's it's again, it can be really aggressive, or maybe it's just like a removal spell. If there's just one creature in play, you know, you can make them sacrifice that creature by just like playing Rankle, hitting them for three, and sacrificing the Rankle. Um, so you know, it, it can uh, play that route as well. Um, the I'm only playing three Rotting Regisaurs because the thing I'm a little concerned about Rotting Regisaurs is you do have to discard a card every turn, and that that could be kind of bad if we're not ending the game quickly because it makes it a lot harder to hit land drops and get up to Nicol Bolas because that's the other thing is, as you all know, Nicol Bolas is just such a powerful Planeswalker, especially when you're ahead. If you're ahead on the battlefield, which hopefully we are with these creatures, and then get to slam Nicol Bolas, you know, getting that card advantage and whittling away your opponent's cards while they're trying to, like, deal with your other stuff you have in play, um, and they don't even they don't have the time to deal with Nicol Bolas is just pretty devastating. I switched up the mana base since last time, we just had too many tap lands. I had, you know, more dismal backwaters and, and blood bloodfell caves. Hmm. I'm supposed to have <laughs> that's supposed to be switched. Let's there we go. That's better. Let's play four blood crypts and two bloodfell caves. Alright. And so put in more basics. You know, I wasn't really playing basic lands. I had like one swamp and like that was it. So put in more basics and a couple fable passage and, and hopefully uh, that helps us out a little bit. I know our, our mana can be pretty tough with all these different requirements, so we're going to need to get things to line up for us, but hopefully it will. Um, but all right, and then, uh, you know, our sideboard's just filled with, like, different removal. I am i don't love this command, the Dreadhorde slot. I, I don't... There's, like, a whole bunch of, like, cards that could go in here. You know, I was thinking, like, uh, four mana Chandra for a, a card advantage engine or, like, enter the God... You know, just put an Enter the God Eternals in there. Um, but as you can see, I'm trying to keep the, the curve pretty low in general, but th this is just kind of like against other like control decks kind of thing. Just be able to play a uh, command, the dread horde and same with like an agent of treachery. Like these are just two incredibly powerful cards that we could have, it, um, after sideboarding, they, they could definitely be other things. Um, that is kind of like the two that I settled on, but you know, like Ugin, Liliana, like there's, there's just so many cards, um, you know, Citadel, if you want to even, um, they could go in for those. Um, yeah, I just kind of have two, you know, big grind cards to have in the deck. 
Um, so yeah, so there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and give this a try. See how it does. So as you all know, I've always liked playing Nicol Bolas, and so looking for more reasons for that. And I think the Rural Scions is a really good Planeswalker. And so want to see how Rural Scions does here in this shell. Hey, Boxer Rocks. Thanks for the kind of wishes. <laughs> Roses are red. This deck is Jinx. Watch out for Wrinkle, Master of Pranks. <laughs> That's, a good. That's good. Hey, Samantha. Happy Saturday. It's all right. It's the weekend. Weekend time. All right, I need to edit our deckless command. Let's make it four Blood Crypt, two Bloodfell Caves. I took out the wrong one there. All right, so it looks like we're just kind of going to be on control route. We're gonna control mode activated. Yeah, that's kind of the good thing about being able to, to switch gears is that, you know, if you're only aggro and you just don't have a very good hand that's not aggressive enough to win, then, you know, like you're, you're going to be kind of in trouble. Or if you're only control, but you're... A, but, um, you know, same kind of thing. But you, your control cards don't line up perfectly against your opponent. Like, their threats, you can be in trouble there also. But our, our deck can kind of do both. Yeah, I'm going to do the win every card challenge tomorrow. Because it's, it's going to start being live, like, after my stream tonight. So we're going to do it tomorrow on stream. And I think I'm going to play Simic Wishes. Um, Castle Brooding Pool. So basically, I'm you know, debating, do we shock in to have Murderous Rider up? This could be Simic Flash. I think I can. I've been uh, I've been doing well with and having fun with a couple of different mono black decks recently. Like there was an Aria Citadel deck a couple of days ago. And mono black value. Um, hey Storm, good evening. Oh. That is nice being able to play Risen Reef and then play another card immediately. That's pretty nice. So just fires with elementals thing is elementals can get a whole lot of lands and everything in play and you know only casting two spells a turn it can maybe cast more than that You think this is a, a, yeah, I mean, this is a Cavalier deck. Yeah. <clears throat> so they, you know, they could be playing, you know, like blue and red Cavalier, like trying to do the haste stuff, which could kill me if they find that. Okay, you're going to play, you're going to play Gruel Hand for the event. Okay. I like it. I'm Chandra. 
The immolation sensation. I don't like that. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> you like watching Arena more than playing it? It's less stressful. Scry 2 to the top. Of course, we are playing Grixis, which means I don't have anything against enchantments. I There are like a couple of cards in the format, such as Ugin, that I could play um, to be able to shut down enchantments or to be able to destroy enchantments, but I, I'm not playing anything. So Fires of Invention is just a, a very good card against me. Utterly is the best way to destroy things. Yeah, it was it was just an, an Esper deck that I put together that I played earlier today. Um, it was okay, but I, I don't think I'm going to play it for the event. But it's all right. I don't I don't have like the the deck list posted or anything. I don't really know how I'm supposed to win this right now. I mean, we're going to need to draw, like, like Nicol Bolas to kill this Chandra. It's a good sign that they scried four to the bottom. Hope it's not too hot for you. Yeah, we could draw the, the fourth Murderous Rider or one of our Bedevils. Cavalier Gales with Castle Vantress, of course, is a really nice combination. This makes sense as a way to, to build elementals with fires of invention. Makes sense. Looks really good. So I can I can gain control of their fires of invention. I could do that. This seems like a pretty decent command the dread horde matchup. Maybe I want to play both of those things. Get rid of Legion's End. Do I want Duress or Noxious Grasp? Duress. Okay. So Control Route didn't work against that card advantage let's try a more aggressive hand Ugh, we just don't have black mana hmm i think i what am i at 17 with this deck yeah uh yeah i'm at 17 with this deck if we temple scry, let's try it. Come on, deck, you can do it. One black source, one black source. You can do it. Well, good scry to the bottom, at least. That's the worst card for us to see. Because, I mean, if, if we find the black source, I, I love Butcher, Regisaur, Scions here on the play. 
yeah, this is risky for sure. But I think that these these three cards win the game. And, you know, winning games is pretty valuable. So I'm willing to risk it. All right, we'll see. We'll see if I'm right. We'll see if they win the game. Thankfully, we had a scry land. <laughs> think if we think if we didn't have the scry land, and our first draw was nickel bolas. Oh, that would have been bad. They've had very good hands both times with turn two growth spiral. Please, no fires. No fires, no fires. Ugh, turn three fires. Gross. This means that I am discarding the Bedevil to the Rotting Regisaur this next turn. You'd better hope you delay our quest no further. You will not block our noble path. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Worked out pretty well. Okay, well it's not, I guess it's not over yet. Never mind, not over yet. They're down to one. Quest of mystery. Reload dead with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much for that support, Reload dead. I appreciate that. And everybody's getting those hype boats in the chat. Love it. It's our second sub of the day. Yeah, so we have we have the scion, we have the royal the royal scion's ult uh, that we're threatening here. Knight of the Ebon Legion is very lethal. Darn, they found something for Knight of the Ebon Legion though. What? Are they doing the damage to the royal scions? They're just dead. They they already played their two cards. They're dead. They just why did they not kill the knight i guess i don't think they understand what first strike death touch and trample do might as well show them gotta help the opponent out so they know not to do this the next time Sure, I could have played this thing that we drew and been like, oh, we, t we top text the win, but we'll help them out. You know, now they'll know that for the game three, but still, just for another game. Just no, just don't. Just don't do that again. So their hand was really good because, you know, obviously my hand was awesome with turn two Butcher, turn three Regisaur, turn four Royal Scions. But they had, they had turn three Fires of Invention... And then turn four, time wipe. 
It's pretty good. I wish Ashiok would shut down Fey of Wishes. Wish Ashiok shut down Fey of Wishes. Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe they didn't realize that I didn't have black mana to pump the knight. I could see that. Like, they, they just saw that I had three lands, and they thought I could pump knight. That would make sense to me. Yeah, really, like, duress is basically to try to hit fires. I just have the one duress. It's either du one duress or one noxious grasp. Um, but, you know, we've seen, like... You know, Chandra, Blue Cavalier. It se kind of seems like Noxious Grasp isn't hitting a lot. You know, it's like um, the Risen Reef and the... You know, basically it looks like Risen Reef and Omnath for Noxious Grasp. And and how good Fires of Invention is, I think I just want the, the Duress instead. And yeah, you know, we never know. They could have like a six mana Chandra or a Once Upon a Time or something else over there too. But of course, our our hand here on the draw, like not only were we on the draw, but then we're double tap land to open it up. Makes life worse for sure. Their man has worked really well all these games, including having the castles. Man has worked very well. Immolation sensation. Get out of my way. Or, you know, don't. Gross. Okay. That's a real card. Reduced to embers. Yeah, I don't. I don't like four fable passage in um, three color decks because to enable four fable passage, you have to play, you know, like six, seven, eight basics, and that that's overall going to hurt your mana. You're going to have to play like at least six basics because you don't want to you know, play a longer game and your fable passages can't find basics. You, know, you don't want to play four basic lands and four fable passage. So if you, you know, start with your opening hand having like two fable or two basics and you draw some fable passages later and all that kind of stuff, you're gonna need enough basics. So I, I don't like playing um I don't like playing four fable passage and three color decks. Yeah. 
is infuriating. Ugh. Elementals have so much card advantage. You know, turn three reef, turn four reef. We've seen this from last format too. It's just, it's kind of too much card advantage to, to deal with. My hand was too slow. You know, I played knight on three, two knights on four, and I got one attack in with those two knights. Or sorry, I played knight on turn two, and then two knights on turn three, and I got one attack in with those knights, and then already they're being swept up by a, a Chandra. I'm going to be playing the Simic Wishes deck for that event. I have other schemes to attend to. How many... How much life can I take? I think they're going to discard two cards, put Fae of Wishes back in their hand. Okay, maybe not. Just if, if they do that, then I would have bedeviled it in response. I don't want to just bedevil the Fae of Wishes, because then they can just put it back in their hand in response. Why are they taking casualties of war here? Why is that better than just getting a Chandra and putting a Chandra into play? How is that how is that better? Besides keeping me off six mana for Command the Dread Horde whenever I think five Command the Dread Horde. All right, 0-1. Um, I guess I could have mulliganed. My hand was pretty slow. Well, it wasn't too slow. I mean, I probably shouldn't have played all three of my Knight of the Ebon Legions. I should have just played two, I guess. Uh, the, duress, the duress ended up being, you know, terrible. Like, that would have been a lot better as a Noxious Grasp. Um, so that, that sideboarding did end up costing me. And Noxious Grass would have been able to kill a Risen Reef, which would have been a lot better. No, Command was not seen. Um, the thing is, I wasn't... I didn't... I missed a land drop, and I wasn't playing my cards in hand, so maybe they just thought I had a, an expensive card in hand, like that's what they read. I don't think it was necessarily that they were stream sniping. Um, Golgari troll, it's the, it's the troll with the goats. Um, Clackbridge troll, it's Clackbridge troll. I, Golos field divine visitation deck. Feels like divine visitations pretty unnecessary I mean it's visitation is powerful of course it is, it is a very powerful card um, but I'm not sure like Golos Field is already really good like I don't, I don't know if 
Just putting in Divine Visitation makes the deck better. <clears throat> hmm. So obviously I'm going to Legion's End away the, the two goblins. Um... Oh my gosh. I was I'm sorry, I was like looking at looking at chat and stuff and then Oh my gosh, I just I did not want to do that at all. I just, you know, was assuming that my opponent was gonna be playing the goblin the next turn. And yeah, I, I did not even look at what card my opponent played. I just kind of assumed it was a goblin. That did not work. <laughs> That's not two goblins. <laughs> yeah, y'all gave me a punt for that. That's that's deserved. I'm going to be playing the Simic Wishes deck we played the other day in the event. I'm going to be playing in the event. I should probably make that a command. Because that's at least the tenth time I've been asked that today. So I should probably make that a command. They're just going haste, huh? They're willing to sacrifice a Spellbreaker to do 4 damage. Alright, let's make a command. There we go. So we can do exclamation point event. Okay, which I'm I'm glad y'all are asking. You know, I think that shows that y'all uh, care and everything. This just doesn't really work out well for me unless my opponent messes up. And that is how they mess up. By playing that first. Because if, if I would have had to activate the knight, so not have worked out very well for me. I'm not exactly sure. We haven't played against a field deck yet. I I think we would do pretty good, though, with like how aggressive our deck can be, how we can trample over um, how our deck can trample over uh, zombie tokens pretty well with the Royal Scions and having all the Ashioks in the sideboard as well.
That's exactly what I wanted to happen. So that worked out well. Let us plan for the trials ahead. <laughs> yeah, I didn't I didn't fetch those lands because I actually wanted to draw a land. Like I wanted to get to six to get to six lands. Uh to be able to do two things a turn there. Um so I didn't I didn't fetch before that. What is my strategy here? Hmm. I will remake the multiverse in my image. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you just always fetch the land immediately when you play it. Yeah, if you, like, we were at the point, we had four lands, so our land was going to be coming into play untapped. So we were good there. And, um, yeah, so we already knew our land was coming into play untapped. And I wanted, but I wanted to draw an extra land, so I, I didn't have to worry about it. Like, if, you, if it's, like, you know, turn one, turn two, like, that kind of stuff... And you want to draw an extra land, but you're, you know, at that point, your land's coming into play tapped, so you should probably just get a land out so you can have your untapped mana. So I know I'm losing the Knight of the Ebon Legion for kind of nothing here. They're going to kill Murderous Rider first. I have another Bone Crusher Giant. Jeez. All right, I should have just killed the Pelt Collector before. All right, I should have just killed the Pelt Collector before they attacked, I suppose. Quest of mystery. My defiance has consequence. Yes, I think aggro decks are, are very good choices for the win any card event. I think it's a very good choice. Okay, so the Royal Scions. My intellect is without limit. Nine. It's like if I minus eight, it does six damage to them. We're just gonna do that. It's a two-turn clock. We have got you outnumbered and outsmarted. That makes life easier. The biggest thing I have to be worried about is Gruel Spellbreaker, because Gruel Spellbreaker has has hex proof, so I wouldn't be able to murderous rider a spellbreaker. So I need to not attack with this Dreadhorde Butcher because Spellbreaker, you know, it's the only three power trample. So we have, we had the Murderous Rider to keep the Hellkite covered. 
but I had to keep the, the Butcher back to play defense for a Spellbreaker also. All right, we had it covered. No, see, just casting Rider would not have kept me safe. Because Hellkite, we would have died if I would have just cast the Rider. Okay. So we need... Uh, kind of need cards we don't have. Guess I can play all these Noxious Grasps. Yeah, I, I almost messed that one up with that Legion's End play. Um, I think <laughs> Simic Flash is a, is a good deck for the event. But that's what I, I spent Monday on the YouTube channel. I spent the Monday playing best of one decks. Check out the YouTube channel. Check out uh, the best, you know, look for the best of one stuff. Um, the first two decks from Monday weren't too good, but the other decks went pretty well. And so you can kind of go to the decks. And you, can go to the, you can go to the end of the videos also where I talk about the deck if you want to shortcut stuff in life. And uh, and so you can see, you know, what I thought about all the different decks. We're gonna take out Dreadhorde Butchers. <clears throat> that's yeah that's something i want to that i'm planning on working on I, I i keep forgetting about that but yeah i i should i need to take a look at trying to build some budget decks for arena If you're in chat now or if you're watching this on YouTube and you have good ideas for a budget deck, arena budget deck, let me know. Because, um, yeah, that's something that a lot of people ask about. I know this format isn't very good for budget be players because just so many, you know, like basically everything are rares and mythics. Um, Yeah, of course, the event, you can use any card. Y'all, like, Cavalcade of Calamity, like, Mono Red for budgets. I don't know. Last time, like, when I, I played that deck on Monday, and it felt really bad. It did not, did not feel too good. Oh, there you go, 531. Nice. Yep, keeping the swamps, we don't have to shock for soot next turn. Taking the spellbreaker there does kind of yeah, does kind of show my opponent that I'm not that I'm not going to have a ritual of soot. I could have taken an extra three damage there. 
and taking the coil that would kill. Hmm. Stop. At least now they don't have the lava coil to kill the rider. Ugh. So yeah, the... The challenge thing doesn't start till after, basically after the stream tonight. Starts in a, about four hours, fifteen minutes, I think. I think it starts like ten o'clock Eastern. So we're gonna do it tomorrow on stream. Definitely need this other noxious grasp in here. Um, I guess I cut a Scions. Could cut a Legion's End. I haven't seen Legion's End actually hit very much stuff, and I got the Ritual of Soots. I think trim a Legion's End. There's the win every card challenge this weekend. You can play any deck. You can play, it doesn't matter what's in your account. You can play anything for the challenge. And then if you win 12 matches, you win a copy of every card. You also just get um, a cool egg sleeve, golden egg sleeve for playing. And I think you get like, like just a random, you know, like a random rare if you win two and like another random rare if you win four and so on. Yeah, there's been a lot of decks that I've that I've enjoyed so far. Um, mostly all green and black, though. Those it's hard to it's hard to play decks that don't have any green and black in them. But um, yeah, played a lot of decks um, so far. Like the mono black value we played a few days ago uh, was a lot of fun. But then we played the Yara Citadel, like another black deck. That was also fun. I liked the John Sacrifice we just played. Um, the Orzov deck we played yesterday was very good, and, and the Gruul deck we played yesterday went really well. I don't know. There's, I've, yeah, that's what I do. I play, you know, I, I basically play four different decks every single day, and yeah, there's a lot of them that I that I like. So Rotting Regisaur can help. I need more black sources. Rotting Regisaur, or sorry, Royal Scions can help with, you know, even if you, if we start the turn with an empty hand, at least we look at two cards each turn. Um, if we do like the draw discard as far as Rotting, rotting Regisaur is concerned. It's, I don't really have like a specific deck that I recommend for constant climbing because that's that's something that's kind of different for everybody. Everybody has um, different play styles and and so on and so forth, and it's that's really tough to recommend. Like you know, have like a specific recommendation that you should play this because you'll do well with it. That's just kind of impossible. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry. I don't really have a, a great answer there.
Looks like maybe my opponent's stuck on mana. Or not. No, they're just deciding what to do. We have to do four damage. I think I think my opponent lost four life there. I think so. Hey, Molda, get in that gifted sub. They just didn't attack. Their creature has vigilance. You can't attack with it. You are allowed. It wouldn't have mattered. They were dead, but they could have attacked. They would have just dealt four damage to me and to the Royal Scions. Good old turn five kill. All right, we're one and one. One and one. Yeah, we out hasted the haste. We out stomped the Stompy Duck. <laughs> yeah, Royal Scions, yeah. Give that Regisaur Trample and First Strike. You just can't ever block that thing. What are you supposed to do? Chump that? You know, you can't. It's just only chump blocking, you know? How are you supposed to deal with nine First Strike damage? Yeah, this, yeah, this is a, yeah, I put this together here, Storm. Um,. Yeah, I like like these together. Yeah, put exactly putting Royal Scions in a creature deck. It looks pretty good there. Yes, I will wear a Halloween tie actually today. Went and purchased a Halloween tie online, and so it should be sent to me. Hey, Chief. So, yep. Decided I'll start doing that. A lot of people ask for Halloween tie. Oh, Hawkeye needs a witch hat. That's actually a pretty good idea. As far as ideas are concerned. That's a pretty good idea. No, I don't get any trick-or-treaters where I'm at. No. No, Field of the Dead doesn't need to be banned. I was hoping they were going to shock that. so I, get, you know, I was hoping I got a two for one with the Dread Horde Butcher. What they should have done is just go to their attack step and just attack again with the Scourge Spitter and not use the shock there. I think it does have haste, does it? No, it's just a three one. Rimrock Knight. I think to ban, to ban cards, there has to be... A, like, they have to be... There has to be a... A. I'm just gonna play Regisaur. <clears throat> they have to be very, very oppressive. There's a chance that Field of the Dead gets there, but it's a huge, huge cost to ban cards because you know people you know invest in the game and you know buy decks and everything. So if you have a lot of people buying like Field of the Dead dead decks and everything and then you just ban field of the dead it's like all those investments from all those people it's it's a you know like that you know makes all the, those people mad you know maybe they don't invest anymore it's it's a huge cost to ban cards 
and like the bar is really really high um just a, you know about you know a year two years ago whenever that was that we just had some really really bad formats back to back and you know it, it uh <clears throat> we had a lot of cards in standard band but like before that there wasn't cards banned for like the, the previous seven or eight years before that. And I don't expect any, like I, I would be surprised if there's like, I would put there to be a less than 50% chance that anything is banned in the next five years in standard, you know, cause then they put together like the testing teams. Um, and after that, you know, like, um, like the, the, Um, and yeah, and you know, they, they work really hard. And so I, I'd be surprised if there's anything that, that actually needs to be banned because there's such a high bar, um, of like how dominant a card has to be before a card needs to be banned. And, and that's a good point, you know, and, and they'll, they'll still mess up. Because they'll just change cards at the end. Yeah, you know, we we just had um, <clears throat> yeah, like the design team. Like the, for some reason, they like changing cards like after they've gone through all the testing and everything. I don't know why, but sometimes like at the very end of like of the process, like right before the cards get submitted, they like changing stuff. You know, like wilderness reclamation just you know completely fell right through. And, you know, like, Wilderness Reclamation was a complete mistake. If there was going to be something that was going to be banned, like, that should have been Wilderness Reclamation should have been banned. But instead, they just covered up the mistake by just printing three mana to fairy. And so I kind of feel like they're just going to do that if they make mistakes or, like, you know, if Field of the Dead um, does completely dominate the next, you know, next set, we're going to have some overcorrection against it. I feel like that's a, a more likely scenario than a banning. I yeah, I'm gonna be playing the Simic Wishes deck for tomorrow. the proper application of knowledge. Run away, steam can. R run away, steam can. My answers lie in the cold. Living in a monastery. <clears throat> not not too much any not too much any more pickle slick because I stream so much. Um so I don't play too much magic off stream. Um But I do sometimes like mostly whenever I'm playing magic off stream is you know I'm practicing decks for for being used on stream but now that I play seven plus hours every day on stream I don't play a lot of magic off of stream We're at 11. Get to play this Life Linker potentially next turn, though. Mm, a quest of mystery. I don't really understand how to answer the question. How meta is the deck that I'm playing? 
Um, I mean, I guess maybe not at all. Like, this this is a deck I, I made, and I, I don't think anybody else has ever played this deck. Stop. Jeez. That's just unnecessary. Bow to the mains ring. And the <clears throat> of course, look, hoping to find Thought Erasure. If I play Bolas, I don't have Bedevil available. I think I should just keep Bedevil available. I was hoping to find Thought Erasure. Alright. Did not quite get that last burn spell. Whew, that was close. There's just not a whole lot of burn spells in standards. They probably don't have just a ton of burn spells in their deck. Oh yeah, I guess yeah, I guess I should have just done that. Yeah, yeah, y'all are right. Yeah, there's a couple of y'all saying that that I could should have just roll Scion ticked up on the the murderous rider to have a four power life linker and go up to five. Yeah, I guess I should have just done that. <laughs> that's probably better than looking for Thought Erasure. I was, that's what I was thinking. Was Okay, they could have another burn spell and need to be able to discard it kind of thing. And yeah, I could have I could have plus two'd with Bolas after drawing four, even. Yeah, slaying. I mean, slaying fire is a good card. It's just it costs three, like how all the other good red cards are three. Like that's kind of the problem is all the red cards cost three, and so having like your like all the good threats are three mana, and so then having your removal be three mana also is difficult. Hey, that's awesome, Slimfire. Glad you're enjoying the mono black deck. Um, so we're on the draw with the Scryland for black mana. Of course, black is the color that I have the most mana of. As you can see with like, you know, Nickel Bolas and everything. So like I have 17 black sources out of the 25. Well our loss was to was to Teamer Elementals earlier. Three o'clock Eastern. Yep. Stream always starts same time. Three Eastern. Actually, I maybe I'll start the stream early tomorrow. Some sometimes I kind of like to start early on on Sundays. Maybe I'll start early tomorrow. What do y'all think of early stream tomorrow? That which means start at one, go one to eight instead of three to ten. <clears throat> Go from 10 to 10. Yeah, Storm, that's that's what I kind of figured. The, the EU crowd likes the earlier stream better. So, yeah, I kind of feel like, yeah, the one the one day a week of the earlier stream... Probably a good idea. Knowledge is the greatest book. With the courage to apply it for the realm. Think. 
Awakener has to be bigger to bring back Healer of the Glade. Anyone need a fire started? Go get him, Not really. Uh, nope. Don't need any fire started whatsoever. I have made a tactical error. Hmm. I guess I have to attack Chandra, even though I don't want to at all, but I guess I have to. My answers lie in the cold truth. Ba -ba. This is the sound of settling. Training is so hard. This is really rough. Looks like my opponent has this one. Yeah, this game's over. I could just concede. Or I could just or I could just keep it going for y'all. I mean, these Risen Reefs going to start. Gosh, these are just all spells in hand now. They're going to start getting more lands of Field of the Dead. I mean, how could I win? I could... Uh... My thoughts were too frozen to win. Guess maybe if I draw like more Royal Scions. I mean, no, keeping Bolas would not have helped. I can't, I can't cast Bolas. No, Bolas would have just got discarded. Eventually, anyway. No, I don't think Rankle can really win it because they have Cavalier of Thorns that has Reach. And I don't have Ritual of Soot in the main deck. Ashiok's honestly like not too bad because of Neoform. Like Neoform is really strong. As we saw there, like Neoform wrecked me pretty bad. But then also Thunderkin Awakener, like getting rid of their graveyard because of Thunderkin Awakener. So like Ashiok could be a real card. Uh B signs that. I 
I think I just, hmm, I mean, maybe command the Dreadhorde if we're like ahead and we can get like a bunch of Risen Reefs or something. Kind of feel like I don't really want Rankle. But I'm not sure if I really want Ritual of Soot, honestly. Because I think, like, the, the best way I can win this... I kind of think of it. Maybe I just don't want Dragon God. Maybe I just don't play Dragon God. That's kind of weird. Yeah, Ashiok's also good against Cavalier Thorns as well. There are definitely some things that Ashiok can do. I don't play a whole lot of removal, though. I think my plan is just to play these creatures and hopefully attack and win. Um, yeah, Ashok doesn't slow down my opponent's Field of the Dead. Like, it does against regular Field of the Dead decks, but not, not my opponent's deck. They're not doing the... They're not doing any kind of searching. Um, I think I'm actually going back to Vela Summer, Astromine. I'm going to play... I don't know. I, I put Teferi in originally, but I think I may go back to Vela Summer. Um, I'm going to play two Overgrown Tombs in the deck. I'm going to just take out uh, two Forests for two Overgrown Tombs. and Or no, no. I'm taking out one Forest and the Paradise Druid for two Overgrown Tombs. I think the deck needs another land. And so, yeah, I'm taking out the Paradise Druid. So that's, that's the main thing I'm changing there for Simic Wishes. Prison Reef is just too dang good. That was the concern. That was the concern. And yeah, waiting, like, the reason to, to kill Risen Reef immediately there is because waiting for them to have Veil of Summer available um, can definitely be problematic also.
Risen Reef just makes it their deck so good. Everything cycles. Riding Registor is kind of getting chump blocked here. Stop. I mean, they should be attacking with Awakener to grab the other Risen Reef back. So I'm basically at the point where I'd rather be activating Knight than playing Registor. I don't have that ability. So they only have five different lands. Six different lands. They're stuck on blue mana. <clears throat> good, good. Yeah, I was a little worried about Veil of Summer. Like, Veil of Summer is what I was worried about. But yeah, we were attacking for lethal there. Uh, with, you know, pump whatever they don't block. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you can find all the lists are there. Uh, thanks, PMJ. Thank you so much. Yeah, glad to have everybody here. Over a thousand of y'all here today. Hope y'all y'all are having a really good weekend. Oh, if we had blue mana, this is kind of exactly what I want. This is kind of exactly what I want if we had blue mana. It's less likely that I'll draw the blue mana than draw the black mana. But yeah, being able to play knight early, uh, these the scions to go with the knight... I think it's just too... I think it's a little risky. Uh, I'd much rather have those other cards. Much rather have the other cards. But I guess... I guess maybe we can... Oh, I don't need the third red source. I don't know. Maybe we can actually cast spells. Maybe we. Maybe if I would have kept that, that first hand, we would not have cast spells. He missed it. 
Yeah, play Bloodfell Caves because our, our mana is pretty rough. And it needs it. But no, Bloodfell Caves is not an ideal card at all. They're just going to turn Risen Reef into... Yes, yeah, so we, we definitely have to block Risen Reef. If they... Yeah, if they turn Awakener into another Risen Reef, at least, you know, takes away their Neo 4 man, their Awakener, and then I can kill the Risen Reef there. We need another black source. <clears throat> Temple. Come on, how are we drawing all blue red lands? How is it just only blue red lands? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was very easy. So yeah, your unpopular opinion is that you're glad the mana's worse. It was very easy to play three colors before. Um, I I personally liked that. For somebody that you know plays all sorts of different decks every single day, it made it a, a lot easier to do that with good mana. Awesome life. Hey, Nastrazel. Thanks so much for the Twitch Prime sub there. I appreciate that. No, I haven't made that yet. I haven't made the five color nib yet. You know, that was just yesterday. Um, but no. I'm going to try to have that for sometimes towards the beginning of next week. All right, so our Teamer Elemental matchup is rough. We're 0 2 against Teamer Elementals. 2-0 against the other two decks. Teamer Elementals. Haven't seen too much of that deck recently, but... Lost to it a couple of times there. All right, 
right, what are we going to have for our fifth and final match? We have good mana. And just a good good hand in general. Good to keep. Looks like our opponent's got a beast. All right, have a good night, Soul Farmer. Mountain Windcat with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, Mountain Windcat. No, we'll thought erasure. Huh. Karn's probably really good. <clears throat> oh, I must be behind. I am behind on my number counting over here. Did I went go down instead of up? So one. Two, three, four, five, six. That's our number six on the day. I had a three over there. I must have typed in the wrong number the last time. All right, more black mana. That's exactly what I want to find because I want to try to play Dragon God on curve. Ideally. You'd better hope you delay our quest no further. Let me synthesize the facts. <clears throat> and playing the Royal Scions to try to help make that easier to play. Dragon God on curve. You have the heart of a coward. All right, steam vents will work. Mm, a quest of mystery. <sighs> hmm. Do I ditch the third dragon god? Don't really want to. I feel like I'm supposed to. Yeah, I guess we are. So I should take the Arboreal Grazer. That's a good draw. That's a card I was looking for. So I could Bedevil, Beanstalk Giant, and Legion's End to this thing. Legion's End, both of those. And then tick up on Dragon God. Second Field of the Dead is going to be annoying to fight through. I should probably just pass the turn. I don't think they're going to have like a main deck counter spell or Veil of Summer or anything like that. I should probably just pass the turn and let them choose their attackers first before doing that. Well. That was a good draw. That's a 
make a draw. Stay away from my brother. Hmm. What is my strategy here? I'm going to be bouncing the Golos and making them discard it. I outsmarted you eons ago. Main question is if I do the sacrifice a creature bit. Probably not. of mystery. Let's see, let's play this. Um, we're definitely going to play these other Legion's Ends. And Soots. Agent of Treachery. Thing is, if I if I have if I curve like Butcher into Royal Scions, Butcher can do a lot for me. But I'm guessing I'm supposed to try to be like kind of full on control, like I was there. Like, do I just turn into control? It's like, knight is good if it's a 2-3, but as a 1-2, it's not so good. Unless their cards are creatures, though, aren't they? Like, as far as playing duress. Is concerned. Right, I'm gonna try this. We'll see how it goes. It may not go so well, but you know, on on the play, you know, maybe I go back and be aggressive on the play and bring all the creatures back in on the play. Not my favorite hand, but we're gonna keep it. It's got pretty good mana. Obviously, I want to draw Planeswalkers. So, like, Royal Scions would be nice just to, you know, start digging through some stuff. Um, Ashiok, Royal Scions. 
Those are the cards I want to be drawing. All right, Storm, have a good night. I played the wrong land with the island there. I should have played... I should have shocked in for one of these. Yeah, to donate a deck, you just... Um, yeah, there's, there's the donation link down below. Wow, they just had nothing? And all you have to do is just send a link of your deck list. Um, just use a use a, like a third party site, like MTG Goldfish. Put a link there for, for that. Um, and then let me know what what day, what time slot you want your deck played, basically. And it's as it's as easy as that. It's just twenty dollars to have your deck played through a league. Um, it's as easy as that. You have any special requests like you have a certain certain sleeves you want me to use you can definitely tell me what sleeve to use or um anything like that in donation decks also okay so that's grixis mid-range um it did pretty well it did pretty well you know like we lost both our matches against team or elementals you know how much team or elementals is there in the format i don't know but yes team or elementals felt like a, a rough matchup because just so much card advantage with Risen Reef and everything. Uh, we did beat that other Risen Reef deck this last time. They didn't really play a second game, so we really only just won game one. Um, but, you know, they didn't have any other elementals after they played the Risen Reef also. So, for the game one, that is. But it felt good against the other decks. Um, you know, got to pressure really hard. You know, even against Gruul, you know, like we had like Rotting Regisaur, which is like the biggest creature. Royal Scions worked pretty well with our other creatures. And yeah, as far as, you know, like Grixis isn't necessarily the best right now. Like the mana base isn't the best. We don't have, the, like Grixis doesn't have the best interaction for all types of permanents. You know, as we saw, like Fires of Invention resolving was, was really rough. Um, but with that being said, there's a lot of good things that Grixis still has. There's a lot of powerful cards here. And Dragon God's a fun one to play. So if you like playing Grixis... Uh, I say give this a try. Give this a try. And and if you do, again, like always, if you're watching on YouTube, let me know how it goes over there. Give me some feedback on the deck if you're trying it out yourself. Leave some comments. Um, what's working well, what, what's not working well about the deck, and that kind of stuff. Um, but this one, uh, uh, pretty good. Pretty good. So, again, uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Also on YouTube. But thanks so much for watching some Grixis Midrange. And I'll see you for the next video.